Carvana founder and CEO Ernie Garcia joins me now. Ernie, give me the pitch quickly. Why would I go to Carvana to buy that used vehicle or to sell my vehicle as opposed to going to my local car dealer? Sure. Well, first, thanks for having us. We really appreciate it. Um, so at Carvana, customers go to our website. We have tens of thousands of cars for them to choose from. Um, they can go through the entire process of selecting their car, selecting financing, uh, you know, getting a value for their trade-in. That process takes minutes. They can go through the purchase process. Uh, scheduled delivery will deliver to their door as soon as the next day, and then they get a seven-day return policy. And by virtue of building a, the model in a completely different way, we generally save our customers around $1,000. And, and the ease of that experience, the savings, the selection, I think is what drives people to us. And then uh, when it comes to selling your car, that's a really simple experience as well. You can go to our website, get a value in two minutes, and then we'll come pick it up from you and give you a check whether you buy from us or not. So that's the way the, the whole business works. I wish I had a marching band and some party streamers so I could do, do justice to your latest quarterly numbers. But let me, let me just point <laughs> to one that stood out. Gross profit per vehicle went over $5,000 per vehicle. Several years ago, that was a that was a thousand dollars. So it's a remarkable change. What should investors be thinking about that? Are, are are conditions right now unique, and they should be thinking that those numbers will, will come down in the future? Or you know, do you expect the the used vehicle trade to stay uh, sort of this profitable long term? Sure. So I think, you know, undoubtedly, the specific conditions are, are definitely unique. We're in a strange time where car prices are higher than they've ever been before. Um, but we've made, you know, very consistent, sustainable progress over a long period of time. As you said, five years ago, our GPU was $1,000. It's continually marched up almost linearly. For the full year, we expect it to be over $4,000. And, you know, we do that by investing in our processes, by building a different kind of business model, by vertically integrating more deeply so there's fewer third parties uh, in the mix between us and customers so that we we can give a great value to our customers and also build a great business. And so I think uh, you know, those most fundamental forces are, are still at play and we expect to continue to be at play for a long time. You, you must have customers who are coming to you and say, hey, my Chevy's beating the stock market. The price of used cars are going up so quickly. But on the flip side, then if they turn it in, they have to buy a vehicle and that's not so fun with, with some of the higher prices there. When do you think um, that, that customers might get some, some relief on the prices that they're paying for used vehicles right now? You have any kind of um, prediction uh, in the quarters ahead? I think it's hard, and so I apologize for not giving a specific prediction because I know that that makes everything simpler, but I think, you know, so far over the last year and a half, everyone that's predicted what was going to happen has been wrong, you know, one way or the other. Um, I think it's a complicated question. You know, the with, with COVID kind of, you know, waves going across the world and with uh, new car supply chains, you know, being as complicated as they are where there's thousands of parts manufactured in different parts of the world, uh, it's hard to say, you know, when those supply chains will recover and when new cars will start being produced in more normal normalized numbers. And until that happens, I think there will continue to be some disruption, or it's at least likely there will be some disruption uh, in both new and used car pricing. So I think it's a complicated question, uh, but, but we'll be paying attention like everyone else. Your first profitable quarter, I saw that you went over 100,000 vehicles sold during the quarter. That number is multiplied, you know, versus several years ago. But then I saw you're at 1% market share. So what do you think about how big this business can become? Sure. Well, so, you know, to your point, you know, five years ago in 2016, we sold 18,000 cars in the entire year. And then, you know, in Q2 of this year, we sold 107,000 cars in a single quarter. So that just gives you a sense of how quickly that's that's growing, right? It's five times as many car sales in one fourth the amount of time. Uh, so, you know, we're growing really quickly. There's clearly a lot of demand for this offering. Uh, you know, we've put out a, a long term goal of selling two million plus cars per year. Uh, I think the two million is important. I think the plus is important, too. This is a 40 million unit per year market, um, you know, 40 million cars change hands uh, on the used car side alone every year in the U.S. And, you know, we think with our simple offering of giving customers a great experience, a great price and a, a deep and incredible selection, uh, we've got something that appeals to a lot of people. So we're going to work hard to, to build that business as quickly as we possibly can. Ernie, 10 seconds. First car you ever owned. <laughs> It was, it was an old forerunner with a four banger engine. It could barely make it up hills. Um, you know, we had to get out and push sometimes. I had dice in the mirror uh, and I had, you know, all my friends in the back uh, with a pretty good sound system. So we were excited. It really wasn't good by any reasonable measure, but we thought it was good. It sounds pretty good to me. Carvana founder, CEO, <laughs> Ernie Garcia, thanks for joining us.